let's continue writing Lewis electron dot structures. The cyanide ion, Cn minus, is written down partially here. Or is it partial? Are there no bonds required to complete it, one bond required to complete it, or two bonds required to complete it? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible explanations for all the answers. A, a single bond is all that's necessary to hold the ion together. B, a double bond is similar to the CO structure, which is very stable. Or C, a triple bond is necessary to include all the valence electrons. Think about those three possible explanations and make another selection. We're writing the Lewis electron dot structure for Cn minus, the cyanide ion. First, we count up the valence electrons. Carbon contributes four, nitrogen contributes five, and the ion has a negative charge, so there must be an extra electron. That contributes one, so 10 total electrons. That's actually the same number of electrons as the N2 molecule. So Cn minus requires two more bonds to get 10 total electrons. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 electrons in the cyanide ion. I have two lone pairs and three pairs used in bonding. Cn minus, isoelectronic with N2, is a triple bonded structure. 